Hey everyone, I'm TH Pine and welcome to Pine's Primal Perception. Today I'm gonna share my very first experience with Marvelous Ink. This splash screen makes it look like it's called Ink Marvelous, but that doesn't make any sense, so I stick with Marvelous Ink. Uh, that's also what the Steam page says. So yeah, it's supposed to release on the 27th of April, and uh, it's some sort of hacking game, I think, or a computer puzzle game or something. It looked quite interesting. Uh, so let's give it a shot. Um, there doesn't seem to be an option menu here or anything. I can't get the game into full screen, unfortunately, so you will see some black bars but they should be pretty minimal. Um, I, I couldn't make a sound check either because, well, there's an option menu and there's no sound here. So let's just hope it doesn't blow your ears out. Wait, can we do an underscore? Nope, we can't, unfortunately. Let's log in and see what this is about. Okay, sound seems fine on my end. Um, welcome employee 266. Um, do I click this? I click this, perfect. From Automated Introduction System. Greetings and salutations. We at Marvelous Inc. are happy to welcome one more. Oh no, it was, oh wait, I confused this game. No, this is about actually about programming robots, I think. Oh, well, we'll, we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> I'm happy to welcome one more member, one more member in our ever-expanding AI company. Yeah, we're programming AIs. We are all about big data, internet of things, deep data mining, learning passwords, real-time network for cutting-edge technology, and benchmarking cloud apps built for scalability, of course. We hope you can meet our standards end-to-end. -end. As you know, your assignment will be to test our newly developed artificial intelligence humanoids or robots. You will be working on in the robot testing department, or RTD, for short. You will have to program their behavior with simple commands so they can fulfill complex tasks on the right part of the screen you have direct access to a camera filming a room test subjects the robots of course will be placed inside the room but you can only control them via your code this automated system will guide you if you feel disoriented most importantly have fun carry on so yeah it's about programming robots so that's that sounds uh, that sounds fantastic actually uh did i wait what did i click this oh i clicked the same mail again uh first puzzle there are many commands to control the test subjects, for now you just need to know one. Walk. You can provide, provide a cardinal direction, north, east, south, or west, or their respective aliases up, left, down, right. Not that they are all, are all absolute directions, if you don't, your robot will walk to the direction it's facing. Uh, important, this command will make the test subject walk continuously until it encounters an obstacle. What? This command will make the test subject walk continuously until... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Walk, walk, ease, walk, around. okay, so walk will just walk in the direction of facing and uh, yeah makes sense after writing the instructions in the appropriate place we use the play button to start running the commands use the two buttons to the right to play to move your butt faster we are sure you are an expert so no more instructions are needed no probably not sounds pretty straightforward so subject name jenny hi jenny subject rates watches youtube hits has to touch everything inconvenient i have a feeling those robots they are not robots at all but um I wonder if there's a hidden story or something, or maybe not hidden, not maybe not quite quite as hidden, but maybe there is a secret or something to discover. So this seems to be Jenny. This seems to be like a, um, a, a things. Uh, what's it called? Coordination system. Is that the English word? I'm not sure. I'll just, just get to the red tile. It's not that hard. Lines available for puzzle 99. Give up? No, let's not give up. So I guess we have to walk this way. I guess these are walls, probably. Um, walk left. Um, how, 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 wait, how long will she, oh, until it reaches an, it reaches an obstacle, so that makes, that makes sense, uh, so, this should be fine, uh, play, it's, it's walking, or she, rather, Jenny, yeah, that, that seems to work, okay, fine, Let's speed this up, cheap, there we go, for Jenny, hello, you will be emailed your next task shortly, Great. Keep going. Well done. Besides directions, you can add another modifier to the walk command of value. The test subject will then walk that many steps. This may sound worse than the original command, but it may be useful. Precise robot walking. Examples walk 5, walk left 10. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, reply this email to start the experiment. Um, reply. Sure. There were more emails, though. Uh, keep going. Code tips. The code tab is a powerful tool. Um, okay, so some controls for the editor, I guess. We said before you should use it like an, any text to mention some of its features. You can move the cursor with your mouse or arrow keys, combine the shift key with the mouse, arrow keys to select text or just clicking and dragging. It's the enter home keys, use control Z, blah, blah, uh, redo undo, and much more. Okay, exploring is part of the job. Get used to it. Fine. Why did this email disappear? I, I guess I did delete it. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, info. Subject. It's it's Jenny again. Welcome back, Jenny. Going all the way is not always good. Uh, just get to red tile again. Sure. Oh yeah. Okay. We have a. Oh. Okay. Nice. That looks good. That's a. That looks like a decent AP, uh, API. We'll see how. Like depends on how this works when we have more commands. This might get a little bit. 
well confusing we will see one two three four five walk up five walk right as a hotkey for running this a five no <laughs> other hotkeys doesn't no 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 hotkeys apparently okay whatever yay did it so it seems like the super fast forward button is just instantaneous so that's good Making good progress. Good job, employee 266. Let's learn some new instructions. Use the turn command to surprise turn the test object and change the direction he is facing. Uh, straightforward. C clock or counter. Don't know clockwise or counter. Turn south. Oh, yeah. So so we can change. Okay, we can. Yeah, makes sense. We can turn into a direction or clock or counterclockwise. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, it's Jenny again. Great. Go to the green tile. Stop. Then look to the blue tile. Okay, pretty straightforward. Sh useful shortcuts. Control enter. Start the simulation. Hey, thank you. Control control enter. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Space to your player. Pause for the simulation if it's already running. Page up, down, move between tabs. Up arrow, down arrow. Scroll your email list. Control left, right arrow. Increase degree simulation speed. Okay, that's good to know. Enter close pop ups. Remember them all. As we say here in my link, mice are four jumps and Larry from accounting. Uh. Oh yeah, okay, so... <laughs> oh, we can't close this pop-up. Oh, unfortunate. Uh, okay, so... Move... Right... Move... Was... A oh, walk, not move. Walk, right... Some music would be nice. Walk up... Walk right... Uh, 7 to 14, 7. Uh, turn up what was it control enter yes and control arrow keys to speed it up there we go easy pretty easy so far i wonder if there will be any control statements there we go loops okay we got loops remember loops from hacking 101 classes well you better this new command is a jump oh god oh god no we're going oh god oh god <laughs> not jump commands please <laughs> okay so we're going assembly here right um fine uh <laughs> Uh, this could get annoying. We'll see. The new command is jump. You provide a label and will jump to the line you define the label on. Makes sense. Uh, that's how your jump works. To define a label, you just write any single alphanumeric word, uh, followed by a colon. Okay. After defining a label, you can optionally write any one command in the same line. However, the command must be written after the, the colon. Example. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, it makes. Uh, I know how this works. Okay. Walk to turn to do. -doo. Uh, can we get it? We'll get conditionals in the next step, I guess. Example that makes the bot spin endlessly. Some label to do, do, do. complete puzzle quickly. We greatly appreciate it. Okay, sure. Um, get tired. Walk 200 steps. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, okay. It's so, uh, not in a straight line. So we have to walk forward and backward. Um, the experiment ends as soon as the objective requirements are completed. You can use fast or super fast to speed buttons to make the turn go faster. And we can write commands in the same line. You define a label. Oh, yeah. Well, is that, is that important? I mean, I can do that, obviously. Uh, start, um, walk up. Uh, no, wait, we do this differently. Let's let's do it the cool way. Start, walk, turn, clock. Where's the after party yet? <laughs> the bot is talking to me. <laughs> so this is the cool way of doing it, right? Is that the correct syntax for the for the jump? Yeah, that's a cool way of doing it. You could obviously just do uh, walk up, walk down, uh, and then loop that, but this is way cooler. <laughs> okay, walking with backpack. What a back? Oh, we can pick up things. Cool. Okay, um, we can pick up and drop things. It was the same optional argument. A direction when provided, the pickup command will make the turn and pick any object facing that direction. If you don't provide a direction, step, we'll try to pick something direction he's facing. That makes sense. Um, there's an inventory. Drop works the same way. Uh, turn counter, pick up, turn right, drop. Uh, okay, sure. Um, get to the red tile, extinguish all the lava in the way using giant buckets, obviously. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, that's that's cool. Oh, there are. I didn't realize there are tooltips for the um, for the for the coordinates that might become useful. So walk up. Um, 
What was it? Pickup? Was it pickup? Yes. Cup, turn right, drop, turn left, pick up. No, actually not. Wait, that's not gonna work. Oh wait, yeah, I can pick up multiple things, right? Uh, we will find out, I guess. Um, pick up, walk, pick up. Yeah, right. <laughs> pick up, um, turn down. No, stop. I have to walk one more tile. Um, turn down, drop, walk down. Oh, I wonder if he stops at lava. We'll find out. Drop, walk down, walk left. Control, enter. No, that didn't work. Your kid got a runtime error. We get runtime errors? What? Not enough free hands. Oh, okay. Oh no, Jenny will no longer be working and will be sacrificed and replaced. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, that's cute. Uh, who's the new bot? Harry. Subject traits, magician. <laughs> My name is Harry and we are now best friends. Okay, so we cannot pick up multiple things apparently. Yeah, our inventory is only one slot. Okay, so we get rid of this. Uh, work right, pick up. Walk right, turn down, drop, walk left, pick up, walk right, walk down, drop, yeah. That might work or he might die because he's running into the lava. Find out. He's running into the lava. Great, bot burn in lava. You already got head first in a lava pit. Want to see a cool trick? A new bot has been dispatched. Okay, well, that's who is the new bot? Uh, Nelly. Hey, I'm Nelly. Let's solve this. Terrified of babies, socially awkward. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, which one is the walk down? This one, I think. This should do the trick. There we go. Easy. Um, there we go. Memory. 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 Okay. Okay, we didn't have conditionals yet, but we got memory already. Um, let's take it up a notch, shall we? You will now learn to use registers and two new commands, right and add. Registers can hold values, think of them as the memory in your code. Okay, the problem I have with this so far, like it's cute, um, but so far it's just assembly programming. <laughs> and I don't have a feeling that this will change. It just gets more complicated assembly programming, I think. Uh, which it feels like work to me. Um, I mean, I'm I'm a software developer like for life or not for life for, for like I, that's my job. <laughs> um, uh, well, obviously I don't program assembly usually um, in my day-to-day -day job, but um, well, that makes it even worse actually because I'm used to well decent programming languages and not assembly stuff, low-level assembly stuff. Uh, not that it's, well decent programming languages obviously word word wrong word like high level programming languages which makes it kind of annoying to program low level assembly stuff uh so at least to me anyway um let's try out registers and see if we continue afterwards to access the content of the register n just write n uh, in in brackets so if you want to value in the register five you write f okay five in brackets you can see them just below your code notepad with respective numbers and contents register number starts from zero so okay and i look at the top left corner of a register while the content is a big number okay the add command receives three arguments two values to be added and the address where the their sum will be stored look at the following example Add one three seven. So that will add three to seven and store it in one. Adds three to the content of register one and stores it at register seven. Oh no, okay, okay. Yeah, so we take content of register one, add three and store it in register seven. Oh yeah, that makes sense. The first two arguments are just numbers, so I can use register values there or not. And the last value is uh, where to store it. That makes sense. Finally, the right command receives a value argument and a second optional direction argument. What? A direction? You use the write command to write values in the console, which are the big color for computer objects in a room. Direction determines which direction the console is. If not provided, as usual, the robot will try to write in the direction he's facing. Uh, okay, so writing is an action the bot does, actually. Okay. Um, sure. Wait, there was more emails, though. More about consoles. 
console and a big colorful computer sitting around. The color usually represents what it can influence in the room. Oh, okay. Um, let's see, that might become interesting. The numbers above a console indicate the inputs it can still provide to the bot or the output has received from the bot. Use this for your advantage in planning or fixing program. The numbers above a console indicates the inputs it can still provide. Okay. Lastly, words are true hackers, so they can access a console from any direction, even from the back. Wow. Don't ask how they do it, they just can. Sure. Uh, some more just suggest examples. I don't think I need that, to be honest. Let's find out what to do here, actually, uh, with Nelly. Write all numbers from 1 to 50 on the green console. Okay. So, green console there. We walk up, walk right. And then we just uh, do a loop with, right, wait, what? Do we start with zero or with one? One, okay. Um, add zero and one and store it in register zero. And then we write zero to the right, well, we don't have to put the direction in there, I think. And then we add the first register and one, store it in the first register, and then we jump to L. That should do the trick, I think. Nope, didn't. Expected two, got one. Your bot was sacrificed as punishment. Why did we go to one? Let's 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 find out. We kill the next bot by debugging a little bit slower. <laughs> can we do it step by step? Yeah, we can. Okay. Um add this to just a zero. We did. Then we wrote the number in the console. Then we That's not what I What? What? Do I use the add command wrong? Value value address. Am I stupid? Value value address. The address is clear clearly zero. Register zero. Uh, why did this write something into register one? Is this a bug or am I stupid? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so the add command clearly says value one, value two, address. So the third parameter is the address. Oh, we do. Oh, okay. We do the address without um without bracket. That makes more sense anyway. Yeah. Okay. So we can put a bracket value. Yeah, that makes sense. It, it just, yeah. I'm just dumb. There we go. Okay. So super fast forward is not, uh, not immediately, but it's pretty fast. Okay. Let's do one more comparing and jumping. Now we get conditional jumps. Okay. Jump greater than we get a greater. Okay. A greater than jump. Uh, how the parameters? First one greater than the second one, I guess. Um, and it's greater than the value of register two. So, uh, so if the first value received is greater than the second one, it will jump to the label given as a third argument. Uh, and we can use read commands to read input from a console. You provide a first argument with the address of the register to store the input in. And if you want to a direction, as it reads different than write because it reads an address and not a value. I mean, it's reading from console register zero used to command read zero and writing to console register zero used to command write. Yeah, well, yeah, makes sense. Makes sense, really. Uh, more examples. We don't need examples. Okay, what to do? Who's our bot? Perry, good cook. Okay, read up to 50 numbers from the green console, write the negative numbers to the blue console and the non-negative numbers to the red console. Uh, okay. Um, oh, there are more than, there are more conditional jumps. Okay. Fair enough. Um, yeah, it, it even says so. Okay, so we have greater than and 
everything. I think we only need a greater than though. So, well, actually, we need a well, we'll find out. So, we start by walking down, and then we will do a loop, and we will read into the first register, and then we do uh, 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 uh. uh yeah, we need more. We need, to, we need more jumps. So um, we do a jump greater than the first value. Actually, greater than is bad. Uh, we need. Is it smaller or lower? Lower probably, right? Lower than yeah. Jump lower than, and we jump to the label negative. We put down here. Is that the correct syntax? The two values and then no wait. Yeah, no, that's the correct syntax. But we, we we're missing a parameter here. So if the first the input of the first register is lower than zero, then we jump to the 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 end thingy. If not, then it's greater. Um, the positive numbers should be written to the the non-negative numbers to the red console. So we turn, turn move, move right, right. It's walk, not move. Can we get an alias for that? Walk right, uh, right, first register, jump to the loop, and if we have a negative oh wait we have to walk back first uh walk left for how many steps so we're here at 17 16 and we walk to 17 11 so that's five steps turn down and if we have a negative number we do uh walk left you could optimize this a little bit i have redundant code here But that would be annoying to do, so let's not do that. Right, five. Turn down, jump. Yeah. Should do the trick, really. What's the hotkey? Oh yeah. Hmm. There's no hotkey for stepping, is there? Seven more. No, it 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 deleted the email. That's not helpful. See if that works. Yeah, it seems like it's working. Okay, good. Yeah, as I said, you could optimize this uh, f for less line numbers, but I hate optimizing for less line uh, for like a low number of lines usually, but. Uh, final puzzle? The fi I, well, I, did I beat the game? I don't think so. Uh, the last thing we have to teach you. The rest is on your own. Okay. Um, okay, let's do this. The command move is used to move values to an address. The first increment is the value, and the second increment the address to move the value to. There's also the command sub. It works analog to the add command, but instead of. So, yeah, so more register commands. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, number limits. You probably know by now register cons can hold values from. I mean, okay. Um, the value is less than it, but what happens when we perform an operation that takes us out of bounds? We probably get an overflow, I guess. Doing so the start will do do will be do do do. Actually, none of those. The value will be minus nine nine. Why is that? You could think that number are cyclic. Yeah, so it's an overflow. Stack overflow? No, it's not a stack overflow. But anyway, integer overflow. New ways to handle values. Uh, lots of text. Probably not that useful. Okay, uh, what's what's the task? Uh, for each number in the green console, write its square to the blue console. All numbers are non-negative and non greater than 30. Okay, fair enough. So, green console, blue console. Can we walk on those great tiles, I guess? We were standing on one. Walk, lift, four, nine, 
eight, I think. Walk up three, turn or well, turn left. I could do the read left, but uh, I think I need that. That would probably not work because uh, because a loop statement, I think. Um, so we turn left, we read into the first register. Uh, wait, what do we have to do? We have to square it, so we have to multiply it. Um, I mean, there are multiple ways of doing this. I, I, if we, I don't think we have a multiply command, don't we? No? No. Okay. So, uh, I think we just add it to itself a lot of times. Uh, so move the value from the first register to the, well, from the zero register to the register number one. So now we have it here and here, and now we can start. We, you know, we need, we need it one more time actually. So move and then zero to two, actually uh, without the brackets. Okay. And uh, now, um, jump if lower than one, um, second register lower than one, then we jump to end and we'll be here. So what we do we do? We, we add register one to register uh to to register zero value and write it in the first right uh, register zero that should add it up and then we do a multiply loop jump m if we're done oh, we have to reduce wait we have to sub one from two and write it into two i should do the track shouldn't it think walk right right walk left uh should tell him what to write walk left jump l might do the trick we'll see let's find out if i did it correctly no, that's that's a bad start. <laughs> that's a bad start. Okay, let's see. So it walks over there, goes in there, and now he adds up to twenty six. Hopefully, twenty six times. Might be one too many. don't think so. Is that correct? No, it's not correct. Ah, I was one too many. God damn it. Um, almost. You got a gun time arrow. Uh, trying to set register one to one. Whoop. What? In line four. Uh, oh yeah, I'm an idiot. There we go. Got it. A little confusing with the registers and the values. It makes sense. Like, it's actually logical, but it's um, inconvenient to use. It's very easy to mess uh, to mess up. You have base, passed basic training. We at Marvelous Inc. proud ourselves on our award-winning hands-on personal training. A congratulatory golden star sticker has been added to the coffee room. Employee board under your name. Every month we select the highest golden sticker ranking employee and hang on employee, hang an employee of the month picture in the coffee room for this outstanding and obedient member of the Marvelous Inc. family. The current employee of the month for department robot testing is Fergus Gerhard Jacobson. And remember, efficiency means lower costs, and lower costs means fewer layoffs. Christopher J. Corman, senior assistant to the training manager. Uh, okay, thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Whoa! Don't do that. Act 1. Installing Marvelous OS 1.0. Please do not turn off your computer. 
I was not planning to. Unpacking a bunch of stuff, setting up stuff. We did, we bid you farewell. Congratulations, employer 266. As you know, only the most forward thinking and capable dreamers and entrepreneurs are accepting this company and you can now count yourself among these prodigies. You have exceeded our expectations and for this we promote you to Robot Tester. As well as being well paid here at Marvelous Inc. you will receive benefits like up to $20 meal reimbursement weekly upon delivery of signed receipt from authorized authorized partners. Specialized psychological and no psychological and psychiatric helping case of work stress, alpha work, environment, sexual harassment, extreme psychological violence and other and much more. The student is becoming the master, but I have one more lesson for you, young grasshopper. With the new home basic OS upgrade you're getting, you can now rename registers. Oh gosh. If you hold your mouse over a register, you will be able to assign a custom name for it. After that you may use that name instead of its register. That makes it easier, to be honest. Uh, it's that, that that gets rid of the confusion I was just talking about. Uh, now about the code. Uh, for example, if you rename just a three to ABBA, then read ABBA. <laughs> Meaning exactly the same as read three. Please take note of this feature and use it to make your code clearer, as it will become more useful as your task get more complicated. Carry on your oldest and dearest friend, other my introduction system. <laughs> my dearest friend, clearly. Congrats! Oh, a real person! <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Janine Leibovitz. Hey there, employee 1337 hacker. Ha ha ha. Congrats on nailing the job, man. Oh gosh. She's writing very obnoxiously. Been a while since we had new slaves coming here. Lol, just kidding. I'm your new boss, but no need to formalities, right? Ha ha. Call me Jenny, by the way. You probably realize we updated your OS to 1.0 version. It should have downloaded 1 terabyte of RAM, so everything should run way more smooth. Oh, and the updated office package is off the roof, man. Ha ha ha. Anywho, you're probably itching for some real work, huh? We're trying to tweak some details on the NAV system of the robots, lol, but we're having some tech troubles. What is lol about this? Uh, oh, 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 wait, wait, no, no, that's a hint for the story. Ah, for the secret. Like, she she writes robots in, quet, in uh, quotation marks and then writes lol behind that. And that's a hint. Uh, I got it. I didn't miss it. I'm proud of myself. The main desk room is still too unstable for you to handle right now, but we can send you the better version and see if you can handle. By the way, this one can only handle four lines of code. So, what? Four lines of code? So, yeah, can you handle this job? If you could, that would be legend. Wait for it. Derry. Yeah, uh, I love that show. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Too much How much your mother, apparently. Don't forget to carry on. Jenny Lebwood, Lebwood Chief Astronaut at Marvel. Chief Astronaut? <laughs> Soft as kick as dojo, sure. Um, more emails? Welcome. Oh, another person. Fergus Gerard Jacobson. That's the employee of the month guy, right? Welcome fellow tester 266, a senior robot tester here in our department. I oversee most of the personal and would like to personally greet you and introduce you to our staff. In a couple of years you will surely be making a big difference here. I know you must have a lot of questions about the department. What do we really do here? What is the payment for extra hours? Who is the guy with the unicorn hat? <laughs> what? I had the same question when I was in Uber year two many, many years ago. That is why I hold a Q&A every Wednesday from 5 to, uh, 15 to 15.30. If you would like to attend, please schedule it with the secretary at least three days beforehand. This automated email also contains an initial task. I hope you can solve it but don't be afraid to make mistakes if you have any doubts. Don't hesitate to ask one of your co-workers, as we say in here, carry on. The road to success is paved with failure, Steve Jobs. He quotes Steve Jobs, really, okay. Um, <laughs> sure, uh, so do we have two different levels? Is this the same one? No, there are two different levels. Clearly, okay, sure. Get to the center, and we only have four lines of codes? Really? We have only four lines of codes? Fuck you. Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, uh, the, the loop, move, um, woof, it's walk, uh, turn, clock, jump L, I guess. Woo! Easy. And, uh, what's this task? Move the bucket to the green tiles. The buckets to the green titles. Okay, um, we have 99 lines available though, so that should be fairly easy. Why do we have that many registers? <laughs> oh, great. Pick up. Walk left. Um, uh, from here, 11.16 to 11.4. So that's uh, fifth, uh, no, 11 steps. So we want there, 11 steps, I think, hopefully. Drop, walk, right, walk, left, 11 again, I think. Uh, 
Uh, I forgot to pick up. <laughs> Woo! Okay, that was easy. Um, more emails. Need help. My sins and apologies. Sub bro. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll see where this is going. So this, this, it's basically assembly programming the game. Um, it's kind of cute. The writing is <laughs> entertaining to say the least. Um, it, it, yeah, but I don't re like. It feels like work to me. That's the main issue I have with it. Uh, I don't think I want to play more of this to be honest. Like, it's not bad. Um, but yeah, it's it's assembly programming without any any crazy stuff really. It's pretty straightforward assembly programming. Um, so yeah, it's it's like for people who are not doing programming as a day-to-day -day job, like I guess this might be interesting. Um, but for me, this is just work. <laughs> so I like programming games, but they need like they require like something special for me to take interest. That's the same reason why I don't like the human resource machine. Um, like a lot of people recommend that if people are asking for programming puzzle games, but I just don't like the game because it's just pretty straightforward programming. Like there's nothing nothing interesting about it. Like in compare it to something like TI 100 or Chance and IO, uh, and you see what I mean with interesting programming puzzles. Um, so yeah, I don't know. This is this is not that not really my kind of thing it's not terrible though and as i said the writing is entertaining so it's called marvelous ink um i will put the link in the description below if you are interested into it um i am th point oh yeah it will release on the 27th of april so um yeah check it out out if you want to um as i said i'm th point thanks a lot for watching have fun and see you next time